A wonder man of the match, Gio, why have you opted to go for Raheem Sterling? Why is, why is he deserving of this accolade for you, apart from the fact that he scored the goal? What about his overall contribution? Well, I think he's, um, you know, of course, obviously the goal, but I think his movement is excellent. Uh, and also his discipline, you know, sometimes uh, when you have wingers who wants to, to get the ball, they get nervous, they go, they'll go out of position to look for the ball. I think in, in, this, in this team, everyone seems to understand their role. You know, sometimes it's very hard to, to stick on the, on the sideline and then make the play wide. You know, here you see the, the wide player, Mares, he comes inside to support uh, the striker and, um, you know, and the perfect goal. But for me, he's, uh, he's very good. You know, he's also, he comes inside, wait for the pass in, uh, in behind the defense. So, you know, you have to be uh, active the whole game to, to make the pitch wide, to know when to run, to know when, where the space is, you know, when the ball's on the other side, come inside to support the striker and, and try to, to score a goal. So it's uh, for me like the same here. Ball goes from from right to the left. He makes it wide. There's a one against one, and then with his with his pace, his his skills, you know, he can create a chance out of nothing. And he's a little bit unfortunate not to uh, to shoot on goal. But you know, if you look at the the best wingers uh, now, I think he's one of the wingers who are, who, is, who impressed me a lot. Not only this season, but also before. Johnny, do you feel that we've seen an evolution of the type of game which, uh, which Raheem Sterling brings? Because he only just turned 26. He's been the, the best part of, say, nine years part of a first team of either Liverpool or Manchester City. And he's only just in his mid-twenties. Technically speaking, he might not have even hit his prime yet. Are we seeing him being, having more freedom to take players on this campaign? from Pep Guardiola to really be an out-and-out -out winger? Oh, I wouldn't say so. Um, again, I think it may be highlighted a little bit more with no no striker, so there may be a little bit more space in the final third. But I think over the last four seasons, he's been so efficient. Um, I think he's averaged 20 goals a season since he's been at Man City. And at stages through, through his career, especially at Man City, he's probably been underrated, underappreciated outside of Man City. Um, again, if any of us forward player was averaging 20 goals over a four season period, he'd be remarked as, as one of the top in the world. And I don't think um, Raheem gets that credit enough or that comparison. Um, but in terms of efficiency, he's one of the most efficient, reliable, consistent forward winger players in, in the world right now. So you don't think he gets the credit he deserves? Do you think he's one of England's best players because it's easy to, to say Jaden Sancho is exciting to watch Harry Kane is the captain and he's able to bang in the goals I could list out a whole bunch of names but you reckon Sterling is actually the one who's the star oh definitely I think he's one of them obviously England have a bunch of stars but if you look at the, the return um, in terms of just efficient numbers um, which is what players are judged on now especially up front he's up there um, yes there may be more glamorous looking players Sancho may be able to do things that Raheem doesn't do, not that he can't do, but doesn't do. Um, and again, that will catch the eye. Um, I think the modern day fan sees them things and, and appreciates them. But for, from an from, from a ex-footballer's point of view, I'm looking, I'm thinking, how efficient is he? What is he doing for the team? How, he, how productive are his numbers? Are his assists? Are his goals? And Raheem's right up there with anyone. Does it surprise you, Gio? He, I know this is a bit unfair because he was so young when he was at Liverpool because he's been at City now for six years. He's still only 26. But he, you could say he was a bit wasteful in his younger days, but he's just stepped up to another level now. Yeah, well, I mean, if, if you're young, you know, it's very easy to... Well, it's not as easy as, as in Holland, but in England when you are young and playing for the first team, like a big club for, uh, like, like Liverpool, you know, sometimes it's normal that your, 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 your games goes with up, ups and downs, you know, uh, you don't have the consistency you have when you're a bit older. So, you know, for him, the move to City was, was a good one for him because he, uh, you know, he gets the, uh, the confidence of the coach, you know, especially the last years with Pep, you know, you see every player who plays for him will develop even, even more. And he's created a, a, a very good player. He was already good, but now, 
You know, he understands the game. You know, he understands what he has to bring to the team. Um, offensively, but also also def defensively. And, and as I said, you know, uh, Pep is uh, letting them play with uh, – they have to keep their positions. But in, in that those positions, they have the freedom. And um, for him, that's that suits him best because he can – Create a lot of danger if he plays outside. He play outside. He, he goes on one, one against one against his opponents. Uh, at games, he has to play a little bit inside. You know, in between the lines, he can do that. So he's a he's a complete player and uh, making the differences not only uh, in this game but so many games also uh, in recent years. Jordan, be honest with me. Did you think that he would be as improved as he is shown to be? six years on from when he joined from Liverpool. Do you reckon he's, is he kicked on and exceeded your expectations? Has he surprised you in any way? Um, necessarily, no. Again, he was always an exciting player. You always seen the potential. And I just think now we, we talk about potential all the time with players and I think he's fulfilling it. I think he's, as I said, he, he's got to a stage where he understands the game a little bit more. He knows how to be more effective um, in regards to numbers, he, he finds he finds himself in the right positions a lot more of the time now. And if you analyse the finishes that he does, they're, they're probably not that difficult in the grand scheme of other goals. But again, the skill is being in the right position at the right times. And, and I think he's developed that skill uh, and an understanding. 